Parallel investigations are already in place to look into the alleged misencounter between police officers and army soldiers in Holo. But as early as now, the army's commanding general says the spot report on the regional police has been whitewashed. Patricia Mangune with the story. The Philippine Army has given the fallen soldiers arrival honors at the Villamor Air Base. The ceremony was led by Philippine Army Commanding General Gilbert Gapay, while families of the fallen soldiers were also present to mourn the death of their loved ones. The four slain soldiers were intelligence operatives of the Philippine Army. They were identified as Major Marvin Indamog, Captain Erwin Managelod, Sergeant Jaime Velasco, and Corporal Abdal Asula. They were tailing on suspected terrorists who were possibly bombers in Holosulu at that time of the shooting. Lieutenant General Gapay is enraged by the incident, which he thoughts as a murder, since the soldiers did not fire any weapons. Yes, it was murder. It is murder. So, you were no longer missing counter, sir. There's no missing counter. They didn't even come to the tropa. They didn't even come And they know these are PNP, PNP personnel. That's why. Kung may missing counter, nagkaputungan, palagay niyo, walang tatamaan na BNP. So, there was no missing counter here. It was a rub out. Gapay also thinks that the spot report of the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region's Police Regional Office was whitewashed. With this, he demands accountability from the nine police officers involved and wants the Municipal Director of the Holo Police Station and the Provincial Director of Sulu relieved from their posts. I was enraged by what I read from uh, that spot report. I've said in my statement last night, we find the report fabricated, full of inconsistencies, parang sine, and very misleading, you know? It was Monday afternoon when the soldiers were flagged down on board their vehicle upon passing by the Holo Police's checkpoint. After introducing themselves and fleeing the checkpoint, the police chased and fired at them. Based on the initial report from the PNP, the undercover soldiers allegedly pulled out weapons first, forcing police to draw their weapons as well. PNP Chief Archie Gamboa said they will wait for the NBI's impartial investigation to get to the bottom of the incident. Whatever would be the findings of the National Bureau of Investigation, the Philippine National Police and the Armed Forces of the Philippines will together embrace whatever the recommendations. If ever there are charges that would be filed, then the Philippine National Police would always be open to it. Meanwhile, Interior Secretary Eduardo Año has also ordered the PNP to disarm the policemen involved and restrict them under the custody of the Sulu Provincial Director pending investigation by the CIDG and the NBI. Año urged the investigators to leave no stone unturned. The remains of the soldiers brought home will first undergo an autopsy by the NBI, after which the Philippine Army will assist the family with funeral arrangements at the Libingan ng mga bayani. For News 5, Patricia Mangune, We Are One News.